right. It says I'm live. Wait for my chatters to gather here. Uh, if you're on YouTube and watching the recording, you might want to skip ahead a couple minutes as my chatters gather and we say hello and get started. You guys, when you're online, let me know if you can hear and see me, please. I'm going to play with some patina chemicals tonight. Elon, hi. Yay, great. Everything look okay on your picture? I got a new setup. I'm not sure if you were here last time I streamed. I got a new laptop and we had an upgrade on our Verizon Wi-Fi uh, to a higher speed one. Hey, Joan. And uh, everybody was saying it looked clear. Here on my end, it looks crystal clear. Hey, Jean. Hey, Kat. Pat, hello. Hello, Miss Karjik. Hey, Linda. You know what? I, I, I forget screen names. Remind me, Karjik, your first name. I'm so sorry. Hey, Elaine. And Susan, welcome. Everybody's picture look good? Josie. Ah. Now, are you the Josie that likes the muted palette of watercolors, Josie? Is that, is that the right one? Do I have that connected right in my little pea brain? Oh, great. Great. I'm glad, glad it's looking good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lordy, that was... Not an easy thing to get straightened out, but I, I think we're good now. It cost me a new laptop and an upgraded Wi-Fi connection, but less frustration. Hey, Eileen. All right, let's get started. Um, I was away down Ocean City with my girlfriend, Gail, for the weekend. And we just got back a little while ago, and I thought, oh, I think I'm going to stream. So um, I got to get sorted here. A little bit of a mess. Um, Hey, Sharon. Hey, Jay. Hi. So this, I printed this. I took a picture of, this was a plate on the doorknob of the hotel where we stayed. Um, and I took a picture of it on my phone and printed this from my phone in the printer. So I love that patina look. And that's what I'm going to play with tonight. That's copper. And that's how it patinas naturally. Um, hey, Nikki over time. And this one, I printed the same picture on onion skin. Um, we're going to focus tonight. You know, you want to, there we go. All right. So, um, I love that look. Hey, Kath. Hey, Judy. So I thought I would make some papers that I made. I showed you guys in my little collages that I've been doing. Um, these papers, like this strip right here. I'm trying to remember how the heck I did them. <laughs> uh, this is a piece of one here. It was no design in that one. That was just a straggler. Here you can see a design in this one with different colors. So you use different metal paints. I feel like the bar is better at Margate. <laughs> um, here's another one, just a different design, but the same kind of color, coloration. This is another piece of that, right? So that kind of stuff. So I had made some of those papers years ago. I showed it on my last stream. Um, and I wanted to make some more. And I dug out my products. <laughs> just trying to figure out how the heck I did it. So we're going to try that. But let me get these things out of the way first. Um, Vicki was telling, Vicki Ross online here in the chat was telling me that she used, um, she really liked a certain brush when she did her scripting. Hey, Terry. Hey, Mitzi. Um, when she did her scripting, like um, for Robin McClendon um, intuitive scripting. And if you guys watched Vicki's channel, Vicki, put your channel up there if you want to in chat. Um, a link to it, or you can click on Vicki Ross, you can click on her three dots to the right of her name and find her channel. I think most of you guys on chat know her, but for the YouTube recording, hey Dana, welcome, hey Deb. 
so anyway, she uses the um, Cheap Joe's, the Scroggy's Loose Goose brush. And I think this is the same thing that um, Angela Fair uses in her watercolors. Hey, Phil from Scotland. Welcome. Lillian from Australia. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Um, I think Angela Fair uses the same brush in her watercolors. And since I play with watercolor and uh, hello, there we go. And the scripting with inks, I thought I would try one. Um, hey, Rustic Ink. Crystal, hi. I'm glad. I'm glad you caught us live too. And Janine. Gayla. I feel so much safer now Gayla's here. <laughs> my mod extraordinaire. Not to put down my other mods by any means, but we will have a little joke going. So um so anyway, I got one of those. I'll try that on something. And then while I was there, I mean I hate to just ship one brush, right? So they had these zig. Hey, yeah, yeah. Foodie Biori metallic markers that have a brush tip. This damn camera being backwards still drives me crazy, but at least we're getting a clear picture. All right, and it's got this brush tip. Um, I don't know if you'll see it down here with all this mush all over here, but um, I did script a little bit down here. Can you see that with the silver? No, not so much. Let me put it on something I can lift up to the camera. Why not do it on black? Okay, so let's see. All right, so there you get an idea. It's not, it's silver. It's not really shiny like this. Um, hang on. It's like this gold ink. See, that's that's really shiny, this gold sumi ink. But this is just a brush tip marker. So it's much, it's much uh, more convenient and easy. But I don't know. It's not, it writes nicely, but it's not as shiny as I would like it because I do like me some shiny stuff. And then I got this. Of course, there's not a word of English on it. Other than Kurataki, I understand. Bemoji on here, right? But it's it's a, a brush tip Japanese marker. And I wrote a little bit with this, and I, I, I do like it. I do like it. This is just a piece of deli. I don't know how that's going to work. It's got a finer tip on it. You can push it and make it a little bit wider. So you can, you can put, I usually don't script that fast. So it's kind of sloppy looking, but you can kind of see what it does. But I like this. I like the feel of it. And I like the tip and the way it, the ink flows out of it. I do. So anyway, that's three little new things that I got here. We'll get to those, playing with those at some time. But I want to, my purpose of this stream. Hey, Sharon. Um. Oh, thanks, Gail. I know. Isn't it different? So for those of you just joining today, um, if you watch my channel, the last several months of the videos have been so choppy and pixelated. Hey, CB. Pixelated and rough and jerky. Um, I finally got a new laptop and we had our Verizon Wi-Fi upgraded. Um, to the 400 speed. And then when I streamed that night after it was done, everybody talked about how much clearer it was. And it's crystal clear on my computer. So I looked at the recording and I was so pleased to see how smooth it was. And um, I know that's frustrating to watch when it's not that way. But um, so we're good for another few years, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to try and remember how the hell I did this pa these papers. Let me tear some of this up here. This is a little, a little crazy here with the size of this stuff. So this is red rosin paper. I looked at the label. I can't remember what it was. 
totally clear. Oh, good. No buffering. Oh, yay. I'm so thrilled about that. I'm going to tear this in smaller bits. This is red rosin paper, and I know I got it at the hardware store several years ago, but I had no idea what its use was, but somebody popped in on one of my uh, uh, viewers popped in last uh, video when I mentioned this and said it's used for roofing. So I'm just going to tear up some bits here. I'm going to make these even smaller. They're rather curly. Been on that roll for many years here in the basement. But, um, and I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. I just want a more manageable pieces. Hey, Dorothy. They don't need to be, you know, precise in any way. I'm just going to tear them up for little bits to use. Let me just put this on the side. I don't even know if we'll get to that chunk. Put you over there. Okay. So what I did... We threw in the smoke detector. What the hell happened, Vicki? We went out through in a smoke detector as an example of what not to do. Great. Oh, my gosh. I love those kind of videos. Huh, what not to do. That's my specialty. I could do much more of a series of what not to do than what to do. Trust me. So I'm going to straighten these out a little bit. What I did before was I, I stenciled. I used some kind of modeling paste don't remember what it was, through uh, a stencil and um, I don't remember what paste I used. I know on one I used the clear glossy stuff and then I could see the pink through the paper, which that's not a color that I like to art with right there. Sorry, I know Eileen, you agree with me. Oh, hey, Mad Love. Well, oh, thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> what well, you may know what color I'll choose before I do. What was the brand and the name of the paper? Josie, I have no idea. Um, if you just go to a hardware store, there was a label on it. Let me see if the label says anything. Wow, it says Paint Sundry Solution in Texas. But I don't remember. This says to Amazon.com. Maybe I did order it on Amazon. I thought I got it at the hardware store. But the label is really worn and faint, if you guys can see that. But I think if you just Google red rosin paper. Hey, Gail. Um. Yeah, I might find it. But I think you'll find it in any hardware store, like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Oh, you're welcome. I've seen it used to cover wood floors during construction. It's pretty sturdy stuff. You could see I ripped it easy with the ruler, but it's it's pretty thick and, and sturdy. Yeah. Oh, no, Joan, you're buffering. Is anybody else buffering? I do not have that same error I was getting about an unstable connection. So, Joan, I think that might be on your end. Okay, so I'm going to use, I pulled out some different modeling paste or molding pastes, but I think I had an idea. And I have these metallic ones that Joan sent me from England that she got at a, their Pent Art stencil paste. And I was thinking, why not do something with a little metallic? If that shows through, how bad can that be? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this silver one. And I'm just going to, this is nice and thick stuff. I don't know how long this is going to take to dry. So while I do these, I'm going to set them to the side and let them dry. And then we come back. This is going to be a lot of drying. This might take a couple streams to get these done, to be honest. So I'm just going to, oh, I messed that one up. I went, my, felt my knife go right under the stencil. My darn numb fingers screw me up sometimes. They're a lot better though, to be honest. 
All right, I'm not looking at chat right this minute, so I can try to pay attention to what the heck I'm doing over here. And it doesn't, it's it's going to be just, uh, I'm not worried about this being that precise because this may get all covered up. I don't know if any of this will show through. I'm in my head, this is going to turn out really cool. You know how that goes. There's a lot of things in my head happening really cool that don't play out on paper. All right, let's do this. Oh, a lot of rosin paper on Amazon. Okay, cool. Resin and rosin. This is rosin. I know that. Rustic uh, Ink Angel, are you in the UK? That you're familiar with these? Um, oh, look at you. So, set up there and dry, my friend. I'm just going to try to get most of this off here. And most of it's dried on there. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. Get a little bit more off of this. I usually don't wash my stencils, but this is a 3D product, so I don't want any lumps and bumps to interfere with future use. That little bit of stuff I don't mind on there as long as there's not any bumps. And then let's try, let's try some gold. We don't want to be partial and overlook gold. Oh, geez, can I get it open? <laughs> Gail, I just thought, is that one of her stencils? That's one of my stencils. Yes, um, yes, Mad Love. That's my pictographs. Uh, my It's the round pictograph stencil. I They're sold on iStencil.com. And you'll find my Patty Parish heading there. And if you go there or just type in pictographs in the search, you'll find them. There's a 8 by 10. Um, this one, 8 by 10. This one, 6 by 6. And then you just saw the round, 8-inch round one. I also have rubber stamps that I sell in my Etsy shop that, that match those. Uh, but I'm where Hey, Penny. I am uh, um, working on a second series of pictographs. I'm about halfway there. I'm going to come up with these designs in my little pea brain. Um, you know what? Let's just use this. This is an old eye stencils stencil before I even designed for them when I used to buy them. Um, it's a repeatable stencil, which I don't need to know. If anybody's interested in a good, nice crackle stencil, that number you can put in. You guys see that? I can see it, but can you? 27-00067. Um, I always like this because the crackles are wider. I've had some other crackers, crackle stencils. Um, Hey, Malia. But they were um, real fine marks. Um, and I, I just, for what I used it for, I like this. So I'm going to go with the gold in here. And I thought, you know, this, if this gold would peek up through that turquoisey patina. Um, I probably need to buy some more of those products new. So um, I have a couple brands that I've used. And the first ones I got were from 10 Second Studio. And you guys have been doing this for a while. Oh, good night, Phil. Thanks for joining us. Um, 10 Second Studios was the first, they had a kit of smaller bottles of different colors of the metal paints and the patinas that you put on them, the acids that cause this um, reaction to happen. Um, and they were little one, like one ounce bottles maybe in a kit. 
Um, and that's how I started out. And I love those, but I, I pretty sure they're out of business. Yeah, they were fun to watch on YouTube. All right, so there's that one. And I might I might have my heat gun assist us <laughs> in the drying time. You won't ever see me wiping paint off a stencil. I just blot it. Whatever comes off, comes off. But like I said, these are 3D, so I don't want to totally gunge it up and have it not lay flat on the paper in the future. All right, now let's do a couple more. And I'm going to use all kind of different stuff. You know what? This is an old eye stencil, too. It's 3D, as you can see. It's really cool. Um, I used to use this one a lot. That's that number. 2700107. Right, so let's try. I want a bigger piece so that it might show some of the 3D bits on there. Will that fit? Oh, look at that. It fits on there. Okay. And I'm just going to go to the good old modeling paste for this one. And let's see what happens there. The gold um, was Pent Art stencil paste, um, Terry. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to look at chat and not paying attention to what the heck I'm doing. It looks like my connection that I had before for Wi-Fi and my older computer must have had something to how it impaired the um, focus on my camera um, because it's been focusing ever since we got the new setup going here. So. Thank you, Jesus. So you don't have to do these stencils to use this patina uh, product on paper or on whatever. I just like to have that, um, the texture in there and let the design come through because the acids and all the paint that you put on there puddle up around these designs and in between the the spaces between the shapes and causes a lot of like shading in there that I don't think you would get if you just used it on a flat piece of paper. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat right now. And I'll look up in just a minute in case I missed anything. And scrape off the excess. Try to keep that from sticking to my stencil. I might use that for the next one too. Ooh, there you go. All right, see that 3D look? It's freaking me out, man. <laughs> um, all right. That's, um, Elaine, that's an eye stencil. It's not one of my eye stencils. It's the, the actual eye stencil brand. It's number 27-00107. This is really cool. I made some really cool jelly prints with this. Of course, now that I have my own line, I try to use my stencils whenever I can, you know, I mean, that just makes sense, but I love some of these other ones too, and use those on some things, I'm going to do one, oh, I should have found the other one and dug that one out, I'm going to try this one, this is one of mine, I love this one, this one is called Cave Etchings, yes, well, you know, I got the name right, this one's called Cave Etchings, and it looks kind of tribal. I love tribal looking stuff, as you all may know. 
Oops, kind of open right here. Hello. Hey, Willana. These might take a while to dry. If they do, we'll set it aside and do something else. It got warm here today. Oh my gosh, my friend Gail and I were down the ocean this weekend. And uh, it was not too bad yesterday and got a little chilly last evening, as it does. Uh, even in the summer, it really cools off down there with the water coming off the ocean because the ocean in our parts doesn't get real warm during the summer even. Um, but this morning, and I brought my Uggs. <laughs> And a flannel long shirt. Hey, Joyce. And um, long pants to wear. And it rained like crazy this morning. And uh, when the sun came back out, it was 80 degrees. <laughs> so anybody that knows me. Knows that 80 and Uggs and a flannel shirt is not cutting it. Oh, my God. I couldn't wait to get home and get out of my clothes. Put something else on. But, um, yeah, day, it was just Gail and I. We make an annual pilgrimage in October. Um, actually, we only stayed one night this time because we had a retirement party for a friend of ours on uh, Friday. So instead of leaving Friday, we just left Saturday for one night. Which was fine. Oh, it was really humid. Ugh. I came outside and I thought, holy mother of pearl. Come on. I'm going to try this one. I wanted to have something that had more paper showing for the, um, the color of the... Oh, holy mama. Hang on, I got to bang this. Oh, look at that. Scared it off. I think Xander sent me this. Um, it is shimmery paste. Shimmery goodness, it's called. The Crafter's Workshop. Or maybe I ordered it. I don't remember. Um, but... I'm going to try this too. Oh, she, did you see me that, do that? Stick that right under the stencil? I think I've never seen a stencil before. Actually, I haven't done this in a long time this way. So I want to try to plug Robin McClendon again. You guys, if you, I know a lot of you, at least if you didn't know her before, you do now if you watch me. But, um, she has set my brain on fire with inspiration. I just, her work just really speaks to me. It's got that intuitive scripting and it's got very old world tribal and uh, different script and language and stuff like that, that just really grabs me. I'm telling you. Oh, I knew. See that? Reflexes like a gazelle. Dried clear with shimmer. Ah, crap. I didn't even read the bottle. Clear with iridescent shimmer. I'll be damned. <laughs> well, we'll just see how that comes out. All right. Let me get some gook off of here. And then I'm going to set these aside and try to start. Very organic, um, Vicki. Did somebody else come in that I missed? I see Gail is saying hi, Green. Hi, Green. I'll say it. If Gail says it, I'm going to say it. 
Robin McClendon, um, Rustic. It's R O B Y N M C C L E N D O N. She's got a YouTube channel. Um, she also has online classes through Teachables called Art Mythos, and she has a Patreon page. I do all of them. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Judy. <laughs> you never know with Gala what's going to happen. Okay, let's just put this aside. I'm going to, for the sake of time and drying, I'm going to pull these out here. Hoping this is not a mistake. We shall see. And hit these with my heat gun a little bit. Four, oh, the 3D one. Oh, hell, hang on. Oops, that old gala. I missed this little rascal. Okay, you plug him a little heat gun. Hey, Diana, welcome. All right, I'm going to have the roar of a heat gun here for a little bit. I'm going to put this on about medium, maybe. Let's try that, see what happens. See, <laughs> see me, did I, did one slip by me even? <laughs> Which map book did I get? I got the 13-inch Pro with 512 hard drive. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. Gotta stop. Um, I really liked this little, the first collage I did in here. I really, really, really like that one. That one just grabs me. It speaks to everything that my eye likes. So much so that that's my background on my phone. <laughs> and See if I can do this without ripping all these cords apart here. Here's my laptop. My new laptop cover. It's got that the skin, rather. It's got this that same print on there. Oh. So, hang on. Thanks, Sherry. I really, I don't, you know, sometimes I'll do stuff and I'm like, eh, you know, I don't know where I was thinking, but where did I get my skin? I got my skin. Uh, you can just, you can, there's a couple places that do them. Oh, where did I get mine? Um, give me a minute. I'll look it up. Remind me if I forget. I'll forget in 30 seconds. I, um, you can Google like MacBook skins or computers, whatever, device skins, mobile skins. They do them for everything. But you can go there and you can buy uh, pre-made designs that fit your exact device so that this, the buttonholes, if it covers over a phone case, the buttonholes are cut out. Everything lines up just right. Yeah, Sharon, this is the um, the round, eight-inch round one on this right here. Um, and you'll see different companies. I want to, oh, gosh, hang on. Let me see if I can look at the email on my phone. Hold on. I'm multitasking. <laughs> Probably put something on fire. This is red rosin paper, R-O-S-I-N. You can get it at hardware stores and on Amazon. I think roofers and flooring people use it, apparently.
Well, let me just go up here and search skin in my email. I got mine at skinit.com, S-K-I-N-I-T.com. And you go into the custom feature and you can upload a photo. And then you can skew it different ways, enlarge it, um, you know, move it, shrink it, whatever. But it's skinit.com. And it came in just a few days, two or three days, I think. I can tell this one's getting dry here. Hey, Pam. <laughs> oh, it is very penny. <laughs> no space in it, though. S K I N I T dot com. Hey, Janet. Oh, I think that was pretty dry. That one feels pretty dry. These might take a little while longer. That one's supposed to dry clear, and that's still very silver. This one's getting getting there. A little damp still. Couple more seconds, guys. YouTube, rush forward. They have a coupon right now. Buy one, get one for see all. There you go. You can have your phone and your laptop match each other. Sorry, guys, this takes time. Unfortunately, my chatters can't slide ahead like the people watching the recording can. All right, let's 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 go with this is dry. Let's see. I'll let these cool off a minute so I can feel them. This one is not. I can tell that's still damp. It's cold. That one's getting there. You know, this one... That feels pretty dry. That one's dry. That one's dry. All right, let me set these off to the side. And I'll let that one wait as long as I can. So now what we do, so I have these couple different brands here. This one is called MM Modern Masters and they're metal effects. I think you missed my message. I'm in Utah business partners with Nikki Disorganized Crafter. Um, I don't I don't think I know Nikki. Unless I do and I don't relate the disorganized crafter. I've never I've never it doesn't ring a bell to me at all. Does she have a YouTube channel? Anyway, this metal effects. From Modern Masters, I, this there's a paint, and this is the metal paint. This one is the iodizing copper paint, oxidizing. Sorry, and this is the blue patina aging solution that you use with bronze or copper, right? And that's what gives you that sort of uh, this kind of finish, right? That kind of blue over the coppery brass bit. Oh, nice, Tara. Thank you. I do, too. I'm coming up with a second series of those that I'm working on. I don't know if I'll have it in time for the next sale launch for eye stencils. So you guys that might not know it, Joan Smithy, she's one of my mods, so you'll see her name in blue on my chat. Um, she also designs for um, eye stencils, and you will find her uh, You'll find her um, under my, her stencils under my heading. But all of hers will have her JS number on them. 
She's got some really cool ones too. Patty, I see you at L'Oreal's and Michelle Parrish too. I see you at. I have no idea who Michelle Parrish is. Or Lorelei's? Lorelei's? Lore oh. These are all new names to me, Rustic. <laughs> Unless I've totally lost my mind. Or you're thinking I'm somebody else. That They're totally different new names to me. But it sounds like I need to get to know them if they're doing art stuff at school. Did you go digging through your stash for the paper antiquing stuff? I knew right where it was because I recently cleaned up down here. <laughs> and I knew where I put it. And now can I open it? Can I open the damn lamp? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong patty. Oh. <laughs> hey, I've done worse. No worries. But now we have the Parrish family. There's my husband and his sister. That's all. That's as far as our knowledge of Parrish is going, his family. Um, okay, so there's that's open. But the directions say to put on two coats of this primer first that apparently I don't have. So I'm thinking I didn't use that before. So we're just going to go for it. And I'm going to do one of these in this. And then I'm going to use one in the Swelligant brand, which I'll show you those labels in a minute. <laughs> Kayla, you don't need to elaborate. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody cut Kayla off. One of the mods need to kick her out before she starts blabbing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to grab an old brush here somewhere. That one's too crusty. I need one that's halfway decent. I'll just use one of these. So this is metal paint, so you want to be careful with it. But I'm just going to take one of these. Poor Gail and Kathy have been exposed to too much. <laughs> no one should have to endure that stuff. <laughs> so, shaking this up pretty good. And since I don't have any primer, we're going to do it with no primer and see what the heck happens. See, this is pretty gnarly old acrylic brush that I had. So, I'm not going to have my feelings hurt if this one... Oh, God, that won't even, that won't even bend. <laughs> So you put on one coat of this, the metal paint, and I think this holds true for all of these brands and this stuff. You put on thin, even layers. You let the first layer dry. And then as the first layer, after the first layer dries, you add a second layer. And as that layer is wet, then you add the patina stuff to it, the acidy stuff that makes it patina, makes it rust or whatever it does for that metal combination. So these are an experiment. I mean, I've done this before, but I've never done it with the, like the gold. Uh, modeling paste under it. So I'm going to set this aside. Do I want to do this one in the same? I'll just, I'm going on this. I'm just going to go with this one too. And then we'll use the, the swell again on some of the other stuff. And I'm hoping some of this silver will show through that I can wipe back some of this paint maybe with, um, I'm going to take a baby wipe, I think, for whatever doesn't wipe off of here and see if I can just really gently without lifting the paint everywhere. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat right now, guys. And we got 95 people in chat, so I'm sure it's going kind of fast. I'm old. I can't mask, multitask like I used to. <laughs> All right. Some of that silver showing through. I'm going to take some of that excess off of there. I'm going to grab another baby wipe. Only other traumatic experience was the epic. <laughs> oh, Gala is quite the athlete. Don't be, uh, don't be fooled by Gala. 
She's she can jump up and double click her heels like nobody's business. I mean, she gets air like Michael Jordan. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> That's coming up pretty good off of there, of course. It's still wet. Okay, let's see what happens. What's happening here? Hang on, let me see. Make sure everybody's okay in my in my world. Um, oh hell, this locked up on me. What's going on here? Oh shoot. Okay. All right. I don't want to get these on my brand new computer. Let me put them over here to dry. And I'm going to, let's see, are either one of these dry? That's still a little cold to the touch. <laughs> She's elegant, all right. Yeah, multitasking is, let's go with that. It's overrated. Okay, I uh, don't know what that's about there with the foreign language, but Fanny, I don't know what you're saying, my dear. Uh, that's still... All right, these are still a little teeny tiny bit damp. I'm going to hit them one more time. Put this brush in some water. As I remember, that sucker will dry up here in a minute. Be gone. Joan plays no games with anybody. <laughs> She's an ass kicker, she is. Don't let her demure appearance fool you. He takes no prisoners. These are coming along. I think this one's just about dry. But that's still really silvery. It's supposed to dry clear. I'm glad it didn't. Oh, half water and half glycerin. Does it matter if they're acrylic brushes or watercolor? Or I can't, I'm not sure watercolor and glycerin. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt it. Oh no, never heard that before. All right. I'm gonna set these off to the side a little bit longer. And I'm gonna pull these back out. Maybe we can just try to get these two started because it's already what 749. Okay, so this I'm gonna hit these and dry these a little bit. Joan, could you read it? Could you translate? Did you know what the Spanish said? I if you did, if you say yes, then I I assume I know why you deleted it. <laughs> oh, 
Penny, it just occurred to me. Are you my Penny, my local little Penny? I, these screen names really hose me up. You must be. If you know Kathy can't control Gailey, you must be one of my girls. Are you that Penny? <laughs> okay, let me get a piece of paper I can move these with ready over here. So I'm going to... Now, see, I probably shouldn't have put that brush in water right away, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. You don't think it was very nice? Well, there you go. I did, I would assume not either, since it's obviously not a Spanish channel. Penny, you little rascal. You could be sitting over here with me, but no. Where are you? Down the street somewhere. Trying to get most of the water out of this. Okay, good enough. Now, coat number two. Going on with this thin. I'm just putting a little, a little bit on here, not dipping the whole brush in, just to get it so there's a wet layer on here. Take off some of the excess. All right, and now put it on here so I can move it. Um, we spray with the patina. Got to get my mask. <coughs> Ow, snap my ears. Oh. Okay, while it's still wet. Oh, great. The sprayer's not working. Oh, crap. Gonna have to manually pull this out. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, oh, come on. Now, wouldn't that just piss you off? Right? Come on. Ah. See if I can rinse that out in some warm water I have over here where I fill my water. She's a whiz. All right. I wonder if one of my other sprayers will fit that. Hang on, I have some extra ones here that fit the Lindy Stamp Gang sprayers. I don't know if that's universal size or not we'll do a quick switcheroo and if that doesn't work i'm gonna go to plan a plan b oh it did it did fit let's see if it works there we go yeah, yeah, yeah. so you want to wet the whole page and then it just gets set aside and that's how you set it aside. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Are you back from your trip? I saw you in Bath. I've been there. Cool place. Now, this one's going to be tricky because while this is wet, I need to spray it, but I want to try to wipe back some of this paint over these characters. And, of course, my mask is making my glasses fog up. 
I mean, I, I, everything I do is like the Three Stooges. <laughs> hey, Chris. Did you ever hear anything about your the missing package? Isn't that crazy? All right, good enough. And now we're spraying with the new sprayer. Oh, look at you go. And I'm going to pick it up. This one, you can already see some different greeny looking colors coming up in there. And I'm going to move these over away from me and let them start doing their thing. Whew, gotta take off this mask. For a moment until I'm back to spraying this stuff. What is the spray made out of? God knows it's got to be toxic. Let's see. Danger. Keep out of your children. Acidic aqueous solution and copper salts. Okay, I'm going to put this brand away. And for these other ones, I'm going to go to the swell again. Now, if you guys, oh, no kidding, Gail, I'll have a stroke if I spray stuff on this. Probably acid and go in and burn out everything. Um, <coughs> um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Um, oh, the swell again. If you guys know Chris, Christy. Chrissy, Christy, Friesen, F-R-I-E-S-E-N. What the hell's happening with my email? Good Lord. It's very busy at work in there. I've been working Friday night. I was working this evening trying to keep up with stuff. But Chrissy Friesen has a line. Oh, here's her name. There's her name at the top of the bottle. And the brand name is Swelligant. Just like it sounds. She's got a bunch of colors. This is the metal paint. And then she has these. Whoops. The. Um, patinas. Um, these are the two that I use the most. The Tiffany green is my fave. Which actually is more blue. Oh hello. This damn backwards camera. And then. Uh, the gold green really does come out like a green gold color over the copper paint. Let me get rid of this. And um, so let's see what happens with these. Patty, you're finally caught on. Not sure if they're sending it back to me. Oh, jeez. I'll, if I see anything, uh, Chris, I'll let you know as soon as I see anything on this end. Sorry, it's such a pain in the neck. It's difficult enough to get to the post office and get stuff done like that. And then, when, <laughs> eh, then you never know what's going to happen. Oh, Lordy. Well, if you're going to be that difficult, I will just take you off. All right, I'm just going to pour a little bit out here. And ew, that looks kind of icky. These are, I've had these for a few years, so who knows if this may work, it may not work. I promise, I make no promises. <laughs> I make no promises. This is all an experimental crapshoot when you sign up here. That doesn't feel nearly as smooth um, as the other paint, or nor as thick. So I don't know. I should put a little more on there. We'll see. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's a piece of paper. 
Oh, yeah. Good luck with the real person. This is kind of, it's really not even that coppery looking. And I don't remember how it was when it was fresh or if there's a shelf date. I don't know. All right, we'll set that aside. Let that one start to dry. What other ones are I going to do? Is it 3D one? Which one of these feels? The 3D one feels drier than the other one. So we'll try that. CB, is your wrist coming along? Oops, there's a booger on there. Get that off. <gasps> Ooh, hello. This one I'm not going to worry about wiping back because it's just white molding paste. It's not anything with metallic that I want to try to get it to show through. So let's see what happens with these two. Two more weeks. Come on, two more weeks. Hey, Carrie Ann. Hey, Pamela. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Don't let any of those diagnoses stop you from doing what you like to do. All right. Let me, where'd it go? Let me try to hit these with the heat gun. Oh, you moved this weekend. Good Lord, Janine. You've got to be exhausted. I'm exhausted thinking about it. Be good. The Swellingit brand, they also have dyes, oxidizing dyes that you can use to make it more of a particular color. I have some of those. I used it on some polymer clay pieces that I did. Um, oh, thanks, me. Oh, I see the other ones over there are really starting to turn. They look blue-green from here, from this angle. All right. On with the mask. And we'll do one in the green, gold green, and one in the Tiffany. So let's do... I'm running low on these two. I got to get more of these. Oops, I got to clean out. I'll put this brush in the water. I'm going to get another brush because. Oh, they're looking kind of cool. I'll bring them over in a minute. Let me get a different brush for the. So this says you can sponge it. You can. Um, I could say, fogging up my damn glasses. I know, that's three. Mm. Paint, mist, or sponge. So. You're, you just now got notified that I'm live? Good Lord. That's not much of a notice there. My eight. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, wait a minute. What the hell am I doing? I got to make it wet. See, I almost hosed up. Almost, you let me almost hose up, guys. I like to blame it on you. <laughs> I hose myself up enough. Okay, more paint.
Okay, there's that one. And now I'm going to do the Tiffany on this one. <laughs> now you're reading my mind. Oh, it's ugly in there, Gala. You don't, that's very risky. Oh, okay. Let's just spread that around. Might not have been the way to go. I mean, it is very liquidy, so maybe I should have sponged it. All right, I need to grab another piece of something, and I'll just use this. It's an empty pad of paper, and move this over here. Put this over there, and then this one. <laughs> I try to keep her busy, Penny. She feels. She feels more needed when I have her track that. <laughs> hey. Okay. I want to try to lift a little bit off of the Patty, do you have to use metallic? Yes, the metallic paint is what reacts with the acids to make that effect. So you have to put on a, a dry uh, one layer and let it dry, put on a second layer, and then add the acid while it's wet. These don't need to be all cleaned off. I just want some of it showing through. So... Cap back on that bad boy, and now we're going to go to the green gold. So, I probably, you know what, I'm just going to let it mix. Whatever's on the brush is on the brush. Let's do that. Every breath, my glasses are fogging up. And when I laugh, they fog up more. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let's put that in the water. Put that in the water. And let's put those to the side. You can see this is starting to do something already. That one's even starting to do something already. See where it's coloring, changing colors. By the time I come down here tomorrow and look at these, they should be cooked. But I'm going to bring the other one over so you can kind of see what it's doing. So you see where that molding paste is kind of catching it and making it puddle around there? And that bluish, where it's starting to drop that bluish color. And a little bit of the copper pan will stick through here and there. Some of it end up being kind of cool, actually. So, oh, Lordy, let me take this mask off. All right, we will sit those over there and let those cook a while. The acid rust the spring. Oh, hey, Lynette. Clear with clear water. Oh, for that pump. Is that why that pump didn't work? That makes sense, actually. And that's been sitting there for a good while. All right. I'm going to put these out of my way for now. I've got that one other paper to do, but we'll move on and do something else. Get a little bit cleaner surface. Uh oh, you're buffering. I hope it's not from this end. Is everybody buffering? 
Joan was buffering early. Um, I was before I got all the new setup. I was um, when I would um, stream. I would get a. I would get a. Um, uh, an error saying unstable connection. And then when I would watch my playback, I thought, oh, good Lord, come on. It looked terrible. Terrible. So let's see. What am I going to do here? Hold on. I love those. Those are copies of the doorknob on the hotel where I stayed down the ocean this week. I snapped that little photo on the way out and then printed it on my printer. This one's on onion skin. And this one's on this one's on the regular bond paper that was in the printer. They're cool, aren't they? I thought I could tear these up and use them, you know, use bits of them in, in collages. Um, let's see. I wanted to attempt. Da -da -da -da. And I don't know if any of these pictures copies up here are appropriate. Let me let me see. Hang on. Aren't they cool? I love those. Do I want to do it with this? Uh-oh, I'm tapping my fingers. That means I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Hang on. Oh, here's here's the basket these things go in. So here's the 10-second studio. It was a, um, that was the kit that I bought. And it was a bunch of two-ounce bottles that came in this little, this little bag. Um, That's metal effects. This is the one that causes the rusting, the yellow gold rusting, like you, you normally see metal um, turn. It's the oxy oxidizing iron paint and the rust activator. That's, you know, I'm not wild about that color, to tell you the truth. So these are other swelligans. These are the dyes, the oxide dyes that come from swelligan. I've got several of those, a purple one. Oh, surprising teal. Come on. No, we're not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. But here's, I have a silver coating. And I think with the silver, you get a darkening. Um, this one's sapphire. We've got a ton of different colors. It, uh, this is all swelling, and that's Christy Friesen. Let me put this stuff in here. Cram it in there. Get that out of the way. Oh, yeah. That's it. So you can see this one here, which is changing so far. The one with the circles, see how more green gold that looks? Because that's the different acid I use. And this was the Tiffany Rust. That's going to be a little bit more blue in it. So we'll see how they come out. Um, I wanted to what time is it? 8.14. Hang on. I had it in my head. Ah! Don't laugh. In my head, I was going to do a little bit of that um, using the quill pen with some foil to add a few little bits here and there to some prints that were a little drab. I'm not really wild about this one at all. I'm grabbing some older, some jelly prints I did before. It did really come out the way that I thought they were going to come out. They always come out different in my head. Ask me now. All right. All right. Let's just. Oh, here. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, we're cooking. Hold on.
I need a darker print for this, I think. Let's try. Maybe I'll try something with a couple of these. Okay, where are we here? Uh, not that far. Every time I clean up, I can't find anything. Um... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, can I? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I got a connector where I can plug because my new Mac, they don't have USB connections on the MacBooks anymore. They have a USB C. So if you can see this, connect this white connector here ish, maybe. Plugs into my computer plugs into my computer on one of the USB-C ports and then it connects to the USB so my camera is plugged in there. So these pens run on a USB plug but I got a USB connector that goes into the AC and it's USB to USB. So that should work. Joyce, you want to lick my papers? Doesn't make you a bad person. That's all I gotta say. Um, let's see. What am I missing here? <laughs> um. All right. Now I gotta find the correct papers to use. Xander sent me these. They're blue, and these are the metallic ones and then the gold is on those little oh these will work too so I don't need the blue ones for this the peacock collection so I think you guys saw these before that I use them um, I'm going to use the one with the medium tip which I think is called standard so these are by we are memory keepers and they're called the foil quill now, you have to be careful if you just look up foil quill because there's several different things that are foil quill branded. These are the freestyle foil quills. They have some other ones. Um, they have short little quills that fit into your um, cutting machines so that you can foil as you cut, I believe. And then they have some other ones. Uh, Jamie, I think Jamie has the other ones, and I don't know if they're. I don't know how they work, but they heat a different way. I think they might plug into electric. I mean, directly with an AC plug. I'm not sure. But these are USB, and they're called freestyle. Oh, the battery. They're battery operated. Okay, I knew it was a different power source. Um, thanks, Jamie. But these are the U the foil quill freestyle. So I'm going to put plug that in. Put this one aside. This is the calligraphy tip. I just got that one. They have four different tips. They have a fine, a medium, and a, a larger tip. I think they're, I think it's called fine, standard, and bold. They're just a regular round tip. Like this one is the standard, which is the medium. And the calligraphy, calligraphy tip is new. So what this does, let's see. That's kind of blah. That's got a lot of layers on it, but it's all kind of gold. So I don't want to add gold to that. I'm going to put that on the side. What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> and these, I wasn't wild about these, how they came out. In my head, they were going to come out differently. They're okay. But I think this one needs some zhuzhing. We'll zhuzh that one. I like this one. That's kind of cool the way it is with black. I wish they made a black foil for this stuff that uses these pens. Mine is one tip. I don't think it's changeable. But I can make fine and thicker lines. Well, cool. That's all you need. I'm trying to un uncurl these. The green paper. Oh, that's um, that's in a roll like this. Um, who asked that, Joyce? It's just um, it's painters 
masking paper. And I got it at Lowe's in the painting department. They have well, they had three different ones. The other one was real, like 18 inches tall, and I didn't want that one that big. Um, the green one's a foot, and this brown one is nine inches. This has a drier, more matte finish. This is a little smoother. They're not rough at all, but they're cool. There was this one, I think, was three dollars and change, and this was five bucks and change. But there's hundreds of feet on here. I forget how much they are, but for you know, eight or nine bucks for both of these, but they're for masking, painters masking um, paper. My brain locked. Did you feel that stutter there? You weren't, you weren't pixelating or buffering. That was my brain buffering. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a pack of the, you, this doesn't work with all foils. This works with their own foil. Or, oh my gosh, somebody keep me honest here. Holy crap, I forgot what else it works with. Um, it doesn't work with the Deco Arts foil. It does not. It works with um, 180 feet. Yeah, it's a lot of paper. Uh, who else? Look, I got to think about it. But anyway, it's heat activated. Some of the ones like the Minx machine, some people got a little bit of that to work, but I think they work on their toner activated, not necessarily heat. Um, so this was a pack of foil. It's got rose gold, yellow gold, apparently a lot of yellow gold, and silver. Only a couple of rose gold. That must be very special. But I was going to put, I think, gold on here. So they do make big rolls that are 12 inches. I think they're 12 by 12. Jamie's works with the Mink and Martha Stewart. But I don't think this does. And I don't know if Jamie's gets hotter than these or why. Um... Gosh, I can't think. If Xandra was here, she would know. Um, ah. Oh, sorry. Old age. So all you do. Oh, hell, I've got two pieces of this. Oh, nine. <laughs> so I'm just going to add little bits of sparkle through here. So I will try to do. And you can't see through it. You can't see what you're doing. So another, th what you can do. <gasps> oh, you can stamp on this foil and then you can go back and trace the stamp and you'll get the image of what the stamp was ish um my hand's not steady enough to make it a real crisp image but you get you'll get the the gist of it vicky you probably will oh hey jackie go press machine foils work oh on the freestyle one that's good to know i don't even know what go press is I never saw that brand before. Are you in the U.S., Jackie? But anyway, there there's different ways that you can, like, hold this down. They have magnets, strips to hold it in place and all kind of stuff. But for what I do, Spellbinder. Oh, I think it was Spellbinders. Elon, that I, I think it was Spellbinders that I saw. I did try it on the Deco Arts. No worky. It puts an indentation in it, but the foil does not transfer. So I'm just going to try to script. Now i got to figure out how to handle this cord. Oh, hell. You know what? i got to unplug my computer because this plug is so big. It take, where is Where are we? It takes up a lot of real estate on my power strip. I mean, maybe can I move it? Can I move you to go there? Will that work? See, the power strip's got a little bump out on it, and it hoses me up. Well, no, you're going to have to stay unplugged for a couple minutes while I do this. Oh, in Canada, okay. Foils for the Gemini and to-do machines work, too. 
I never heard either one of those. But I don't I don't do a lot of machine stuff, so <sighs> I'm just sort of here. So I'm gonna try to do some scripting on this. And I when I script, I write a little bit faster. And sometimes that comes out kind of skippy on here. Let me see. Do you guys want me to try to zoom you in a little bit? Hang on. New computer. So I gotta go find where my little Logitech software is. Not if the Mind Screen Mac it needs to be upload updated. Oh crap. This app will not work with the future versions of Mac and needs to be updated to improve. Yeah, oh, great. Okay. Well, we're not gonna zoom in for now. <laughs> Let's just plow ahead. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this is a good one to use. You can do it through a stencil, right? So let's use a busier piece of this. Maybe this bit down here. With these smaller designs. Lay the stencil over the foil, which actually helps keep the foil in place. And then... You just trace out the stencil and you can do that slowly so that you get a good transfer with the heat. Assuming this is still plugged in. That's not very hot. Is my plug not working? Don't even tell me this isn't going to work this way. I have to get another one of those Mac adapters if it does. I'm going to peek and hopefully I can keep this lined up. It's barely transferring. Let me see if this gets hotter. It feels like the, the edge here is getting hotter already. Yeah, that's hotter. Oop, hello. Someone should have my address in case we have to call 911. All right, when I'm too close like this, my glasses have to go. So I'm just going around the outside edge of all the shapes and see what this is going to add to this otherwise lackluster jelly print. I mean, it's shiny, but not with any kind of definition or texture. But you can always go back and do other stuff to jelly print. It's never done. If you don't like it, you can just keep throwing stuff at it. Layer after layer of all kind of stuff. Even collage over it if you need to. I'm heads down right now, so I'm not seeing the chat. I love this the shapes on this stencil. This is the cave etchings one. I see that's not that hot again. It must be this. Oh, that keeps pulling out of there a little bit. Come on, work with me. Give mama a breaky. Don't make me go have Gala's count go up. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this long one in here, and then we'll take a little look-see at what we have. Because I know watching this is <coughs> a little boring. <coughs> Sorry. Got a little tickle. Wow, that's not as hot again. Come on. Why that plug's a little loosey goosey in the outlet. Huh. Well, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I might have to get another one of those Mac adapters. 
because I can't use the one I have or I'll unplug the camera and you guys will go bye-bye. All right, let's see if any of that worked at all with this heat thingy happening here. You can see the indentations on the foil, but at least I made a mark in the foil. <laughs> wow, really faint. There's something not, where the hell is it? There we go. Really, really faint. I wasn't going for subtle. I was going for bam. So I think it's the heat. I remember before when I touched this, I couldn't hold my hand on it. And now I can. So something is not kosher with my... Um... Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to reset my... Um... Hang on. Maybe I had to reset my... Um... Now it's getting hot. Of course it will now. Wait, Lord. Let's try it again. Let's see what we get over there. I had to reset the um, power strip. Yep, that's a little uncomfortable to hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I was just muscling the... Uh, foil off onto the paper, I guess. It was just warm and not doing what it's supposed to do. Should have silenced my phone. Yeah, this looks like it's making different shaped indentations in here. Yep, that's hot. She's a hot. These long straighter lines, I tend to go too fast, I think, as well. So I'm going to go back over this one and go a little slower. I get impatient. I want to get her done. You could use the round. Eh? What are you saying there, Green? I could use the round SPRP. Round SPRP. I don't know what that is. All right, before I go too crazy. Well, these are kind of... Let me just... Well, I'll go a little crazier. I could use the round... I knew this should say stencil. The, you mean a different design one that's just right the circles? You could use any one, really. Um, I tried, I did it with some of the pictograph ones, but that's, uh, it's cool, but it takes a lot of time to get a lot of that tracing done around those little bits. No, I think he's got caps on so that I it gets my attention for chat. That's what how we do it here. Yeah, that worked. It was hot. It just need to be reset. But there you go. That's more of what I was looking for. Nice, solid, gold, poppy lines on there. All right, so now if I rip a little bit of this off, that's going to have a lot cooler deal there. Let me see if I can do a couple little scripts here and see what happens. I have to go slow, so they're going to come out different. Then it's than they would otherwise. And where I've already written over these, there's no foil there. So it's going to look kind of um, scratchy. All 
There you go. It's not as quite as free flowing as my regular scripting is on paper with a brush or a pen. But I like it. I like it a lot. Some need it, I guess. Yes, I do. I am one of those that need it there, Toretics, if that's what you're talking about. I most certainly do. Let's do another little bit of that down here somewhere. I really like how that one came out. Let's see. Another little ribbon of it. I went over those other spots. Hello, focus would be good. Yeah, that's not bad. Thanks, Kayla. Thanks, guys. Um, let's see. I'm good. So where this has already been used, right, there's no foil back there. So I got to be mindful of what I'm doing here. But I might just put, like, see this little, this little edge here? Let's just make some little lines. A little stack of lines here. Use your soldering iron. Good Lord. CB, make sure your house has got your insurance paid up to date before, before you try that one. I'm just doing little tiny hash marks because it's shiny and gold. So any little bit of anything is a plus in my book. Yep, see? Yeah, now that I got the uh, thing actually plugged in, we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Lordy. Um, let's see. I just had a little piece on there where I could put a couple other little little bits down there. All right, so let's let's see. Let's just do. If you go slow, oops, that's going to be on the edge of that. That's going to be hard. It might want to buckle. And just do a squiggly line. I'm telling you, anything that you press on here in the gold is not bad. <laughs> Right, just a little, little squiggly bits. So now, when I tear this up and use little bits of it, you know, if I just get that, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's carry on. I'm going to put this over here somewhere. Let me grab another one of these prints and maybe get another piece color of foil. <sighs> Here, you know what? Let's add, see how it does it on this paper. Let's try to add something over here to this one. Let's 
move that. And you know what? Hang on. Let's try. Here's what their foil packs look like for the four by six inch pieces. They have a they have one that's called Peacock and one that's called uh, I don't know what it's called. It's the other one. It's the all those gold shiny ones that I told you about, the metallic y looking ones. Well, they're all kind of metallic, but they're the silver gold, rose gold pack. And these have my peacock colors in them. You can see my papers over there. Patina, patina ing, is that a word? Nicely. So here's here's the peacock ones, right? Here's blue. Three blue, four blue, purple. Oh, look at that pretty teal. Oh, hello, lover. We might use you on that gold and that green. It's back here, different green, two different greens. All right, so that's that one. And I like these. I started to tell you. Oh, I got a squirrel. They also have these um, rolls. They're a foot long and 96 inches long, which is a lot of foil. And I guess they're good for using it with machines or something. But to handle these, even these little rolls that it came with, like when you buy one of the quills, you get one of these. And when you buy the set, you get, I think, one of each color. Well, you get gold, silver, and rose gold, I think, when you get the four pack. Um, so they're so curly on here. They're really hard to manage. Even cutting them up and, and like long strips about a half an inch wide, they're still curled. And I just had to fight it too much. But I don't like to fight. Only when I have to. Then I can kick some ass. But, you know, not a general day. Not wild about it. I'm just going to sporadically put a little bit of scripting here and there with this and see what happens. Have I Actually, you know what? I did put a little piece on a, a little bit on a piece of Tyvek. It was a piece that was already melted. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. What I, did, I might have sent that to someone, actually. Um, here's a little piece. We'll just grab a piece of this, Joyce, and try it. So I have to get the, looks like the gold out or something that's going to show better on there. Hang on, where did I put that here? Let's see what we can do here. So this is already lumpy and bumpy, right? This is an old piece that I chopped off of another piece. Gabriel, hello. Do you speak English? So let's try. Um, I'm just going to do an outline of this shape. On this little bit that's here. Yep, see? Whoops, hello. It works and it's there. Yep. She works. All right, so let's try. Let's see what a little bit of this looks like. All right. Oops. Let's see what that looks like. Oops, 
there. Maybe not enough contrast. Or maybe being subtle like that maybe is good. Depending on what you're going to do with it. That's, I like the scripting in with my pictographs, though. Let's do a couple other little bits of it. Let's see how this one looks. Um, That one's going to skip. I did that too fast. Hey, Teresa R.O. Welcome. Patty, do you know if the foil with the heat pen you are using works on fabric? I do not. But let's try. Yeah, see, that's, that's working. That's cool. Um, let, me, let me grab a piece somewhere. Now, I don't know how it would wash, of course, but um, let me see here. Somewhere in this reorganized stash, I have some fabric. Let's try. Well, this is kind of dark. These are some petite fabrics I got way back in the day before I figured out I could jelly print my own fabric for my little purposes, but I thought these were really pretty. Um, this one's pretty. But this was on top of my stash box, so it's dark. All right, so let's see. Let me get the gold one out again. Well, Trying to get one layer. It's not as easy as it looks. Here we go. I'm just going to take this. There it is. Now, let's see. It's not going anywhere. Well, you know what? Let's do this. This has been in my stash for years, and there's a half a yard of it here. So I'm just going to cut off this little chunk of rube. Now I want to do something with this fabric in my journals. <laughs> yes, I, it did stick to his head. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can show you a little bit easier now that it's cut off. Let's put some water on it. Let me grab a little brush. Not that this is a washing machine, but let's see what happens. And, of course, a lot of things that we would do, you would never wet it, right? Um, but just in case. I don't think you'd want to wash it, to, be, to tell you the truth. I think a little of that might have come up on there. See where it looks a little spotty here and there? But... I think if you put it, you, know, you did a journal cover and did that on there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, Judy. But, um, yeah, it works. And there's the blue on the brown. But that would make a cool uh, journal cover or even a little swatch, you know, glued in a journal somehow with that on there. It works. We tested on, a, on quite a few things the other day. And, uh, yeah, I do have to, I'm going to have to foil Oakley's collar. Actually, we've got to get him a new collar. This is the second one we had, and it's a Kong collar, which is a real sturdy one. But it's a quick release that has that little snapping lock in it. Closure. Don't you know, we had a, had a hold of him, and he's strong as an ox. He pulled away, and that damn thing just snapped and slid right, came, came apart. And he was free. <laughs> Luckily, in the fenced yard, and once in the house. But, um, yeah, that's not good. Not good for him. He's a rascal. We're going to even more training classes with him tomorrow night. No, Tuesday nights. Oh, give me strengths. All right, so there we go. I added, added a little something, something to that one. I mean, I kind of like this one by itself anyway, but a little turquoise never hurt anybody. We've always said that. He gave up training. Oh, no. Even since he had his intensive little retreat. Oh, my God, Gail, you're not kidding. He, he is getting better. But I'm telling you, when he sees people, <laughs> oh, my God. Bye, Penny. Don't be a stranger. Oh, my God. He he is an ox. He's so strong. But, um, ooh, could be a little devil. Poor babe takes the brunt of it. I unplug this, let that cool off a little bit. So um, I want to bring back those papers and show you what time is it? 8.54. Um, did I show you these little stamps that I made an attempt at carving? My laptop fan is running really hard. I do not know why. I'm going to set it on something to let some air get under it. Um, intuitive carving. Yes. Um, of course, it all comes out backwards. So I didn't take the time to try to transfer design on the rubber. And then... Um, uh, you know, so it comes out facing the right way, but it's kind of just whatever comes out of my head in my hand anyway. It's not like it's a proper letter or design. We know nothing coming out of my head is proper in the first place. So I gave up on that little idea. So I like the way that one looks. Just here, but Gala is going to say something bad. I'll show you how this one. So this one I wrote on the rubber, and then I carved out what I wrote. Right. So the um, the actual scripting is recessed, and the background is what'll print a solid design, leaving the holes for where the scripting is.
<laughs> yeah, well, right, so it looks like that, and Gail is laughing because it's somehow, no matter how innocently I did this, it still came out with that, you know, yes, Judy, it is. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious, really. But it was so funny. I had a, a rectangular piece of ru rubber, whatever that stuff is. I wrote on it and carved it and didn't want it to print in just a block. So I was trying to organically cut around the edges of, see how the scripting goes out and in and around. That's what I ended up with. And then I thought, oh, crap. Great. <laughs> it does, Jamie. Everything I touch does. And I shouldn't say that either, but, you know. Oh, my God. So here's what this one looks like, where I cut, I scripted, and then I um, removed everything around the scripting. This was more of a pain in the butt. Um, so it's kind of the reverse. <laughs> right, so that one kind of looks like that, which doesn't look anything like the scripting when I do it. <laughs> But it looks kind of cool, I think. I like it. So that's what the different looks are when you, positive and negative, when you remove the design and when you carve around the design. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> that is a word. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a word. <laughs> Oh, my God. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. So, anyway, let me go get the papers and show you what we did. Get rid of this big container of harsh chemicals. See, I risk my life showing you these guys this stuff. <laughs> They're almost dry. Yeah, still a little damp in places, which you'll be able to tell. So here's the one with the smaller pictograph, the round stencil, um, with the copper paint and the blue, uh, what was it called? Blue green. <laughs> that's right, CB, you tell her. So that's still damp there. We can see those darker bits. Some of the little bits of shiny silver are coming out through there, which is kind of cool. Let's see how textural it looks. I kind of like that darker. <laughs> but that's just because it's wet. I also like the little bits where the copper paint shows through. A little bit, right? <laughs> I'm glad I bring you humor, if nothing else. Now, this one, I didn't wipe it back, so I shouldn't even have bothered with the gold molding paste because you can't see it. You know what? I wonder if where this is damp. If I can wipe off a little bit of that. Will it show? Oh, it does. Hello. Let's see. Oh, even where it's dry, it'll wipe off. But I'm wiping off other stuff, too, that's not going to look so good. Because I can't, I'd have to do it with a real fine little tip here to just hit the crackle bits. And I do not have the patience to do that. But if you wanted to, you could. See, it wiped off, and it's shiny with the gold underneath. I might wipe off a little more, actually. I wonder how can I do this to get a fine tip and not wipe off the background so it looks schmutzed, but just wipe off the crackle bits. 
I don't think it's possible because they're not thick enough to just, you know, go back and forth over it so that it's, I just hit the high points. Yeah, better not. But anyway, that's kind of what that one's going to look like. Looks cool where it did that, though. Right? You can see the brush strokes in this one. I must have been using that harder, stiff brush where it's more apparent. So that's those two. And that was done with the modern metals. Uh, paints. This one was done with the swell against, and it's still not dry. <clears throat> but it's a little further along than it was. Right, you can see that Tiffany green come up, but it started it's pulled around those designs a little bit. Focus. Right, and how bright the copper is when it shows through. There's a couple bits I missed over here, but that'll look interesting. Oh, hi from Greece. I know it's after midnight. It's well after midnight. You're in the middle of the night. It's so nice to see you here in chat. Thanks for joining us. Um, and here's the one done with the green gold of the swell again. So you can see there's different bits in there. And this does not have that silvery look much anymore. Maybe, oops, sorry, this backwards camera. Maybe in this piece a little bit. That's kind of interesting with the copper showing around there. But they're still not dry, so they're going to change a little bit more. Right? So, yeah, that's how you patina those papers. Even though I didn't have the primer that the one step called for. And where's that other little ditty that we did with the foil quill? All right, here's this little number. Again, just to anybody that didn't see that. I really like those little pens. I should have bought the full. Er, come on. This camera being backwards without my mini cam really drives me cuckoo. Um, oh, thank you. I'm not sure how to say your name. Carissa? But glad you could make it. And here's this one with the turquoise foil. That doesn't look as shiny on there. I guess it is. I'm trying to get a real close up. As um, it is in the package. Maybe because it's against such a shiny background anyway. Because this, this whole thing is metallic. Groovy. So there you have it. Thanks, Josie. Sounds like Krista. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty name. You like the blue gala? So I think right now, uh, in the in the UK, you guys, and in Europe, you're ahead of us only four hours. Right, next Sunday, the 3rd of November, um, we fall back an hour. So we'll get that five hour gap in there again. But for this week, we are um, four hours apart. So, so you can see now that this dried a little bit on the fabric, some of the water did take some of that off. It's not as 
obvious as it was, but again, I mean, who's going to, for what we're going to do with it, I don't think anybody's going to wash it. Or Galamite, I don't know. <laughs> All right, kids, mama got to go to work tomorrow. So I believe I'm going to call it a night, wash out my brushes, go up and kick back, get unpacked from this weekend. And off we go to the races tomorrow. Oh, I know, Krista. So you'll have to, um, you can check the recording out. If you click the little bell on my channel, that little bell notification icon, uh, you should be notified when I go live. Thanks, Deb. And um, thanks, CB, everybody. Judy, Amalia, Susan. Um, you should be notified. But one of the girls was here for, I don't know, half an hour or more. And said that she had just um, got the notification. I guess she was online before she was notified somehow. I, I tweet about it too. I, if you follow me on Twitter. I put it on Twitter when I plan to go live. Um, but she didn't get her notification until we were like, I don't know, 40 minutes in or so. So who knows what the heck is going on with that. But I make my best attempts to make it known unless I do a last minute, um, a last minute thing. Which sometimes I do. So I don't know when I can come back this week. I've got a busy week at work. Tomorrow night I go see my mom because I was away this weekend. Um, take care of some things there. Tuesday night's Oakley's training. Wednesday was something. I don't even remember. I can't remember past. Tonight, probably, if I'm honest. I know. <laughs> Stop looking. Oh, why does it happen? I busted out laughing when I got finished with scissors, kind of like following this design and trying to make it smooth so it wasn't sharp edges on it. And, you know, going around, rounding it all off and on. I looked at it, I thought, come on, you got to be kidding me. Why can I not do anything that doesn't look like a penis? <sighs> oh well could be worse I don't know how but it could be so alright guys I'm going to wrap her up and uh, get ready to launch my weeks I'll be back when I can I don't know when that is but <laughs> I'll let you know when I when I do hopefully maybe one evening this week so we'll see. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. I appreciate it. Take care. Toodaroo. Thanks, mods. <laughs>